I thought that the Komari arc was over with last episode, and it seemed like it, but people are telling me, hold up, hold up. It's not over yet. There's maybe a little bit more left. I'm like, what? What more could they do with Komari? I thought she got her closure, right? She, the senpais are farewelled off. Komari did her thing. The festival went great, but we got something else left. Let's begin today's reaction. A1 Pictures Glaze time. <laughs> no other anime will you see a random fucking cutscene to two background characters that should be random CG at cut and paste, but A1 Pictures go out of their way to draw them and then hints at a potential relationship born forming between two characters that we'll never see again. It'll never matter. But A1 Pictures cares about their show, so they do this shit. While most studios, they will never pay attention to these kind of details, bro. <laughs> Koto should study abroad and then Komari should take Senpai away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Relax. I know it's hard. Oh, Komari's a big girl, she can do it. That's a lot more food than you have now. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? I mean... Eh, you know, Komari might be right. I mean, Nuku never really was much of a man though. That, that, that's literally his character. To be just a background mob character that just exists and doesn't really do shit. But somehow, he just witnesses the stories of the, all these other girls getting cucked in front of him and he just kind of exists. He, he's not, she's not wrong! <laughs> He can't even respond. He, he literally can't even say that's not true because he's like, <laughs> You got me. Opening. No opening. Hmm. I say his sister. Ah, next time you can get help too. Komari has such a Sigma grindsome mentality where it's just like you cannot depend on anyone else. You must save yourself no matter what. I feel like that mentality is good to have, but it gets bad the moment where you refuse to like reach out for help. You shouldn't expect others to help you or save you. You should always be trying to make your own plays and make your own opportunities come true. But that doesn't also mean that you shouldn't rely on other people when they reach out for help. You need to understand when to ask for help. But if you're always depending on others, then it's the other bad spectrum, right? It's two separate, separate spectrums, right? When you're always trying to rely on other people to save you, and when you're always trying to do everything by yourself, there's some middle ground where you can lean into the independence while getting help from others. <laughs> Use them as a tool, Komari. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> really? But Komari also has food on her cup, doesn't she? I, I don't know. Capybara. We having a zoo episode? I love her. Oh no! She's gonna drown! Monkey. Monkey. Yakoseibutsukan 
What? 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 She, she went to get snack because she's on a diet. Apparently, you lose weight if you eat more meals. No, no, no. See, he, he, here's the delusion, okay? Because what she's saying isn't necessarily wrong. Because the idea is... It's the, like the best thing you can do for your health is not to eat a, like a lot of meals and like one or two sittings throughout the day, but to have like light meals every like three to four hours. By doing that, you're making sure your blood glucose level is like very stabilized. You're energized throughout the day. You can make sure that you're not feeling so hungry or so full throughout the day. You're not going to binge eat. It's like bodybuilders, like true dietitians, like one of the healthiest. Not, it's, it's really unreasonable. It's really impossible that to have, but to have like snacks throughout days like that partitioned instead of having like meals in eight hour intervals it, may, it might be better but like this is just wrong right because she's not thinking about that she's not thinking about like little manageable fucking snacks to keep you going throughout the day she's just talking about eating even more fucking meals on top of that your thing Hello, my name is Komari, the principal of... <laughs> president of... I feel like I'm in a car, and we're driving really slowly, but there's multiple speed bumps at irregular intervals. And every time I hear Komari talk, it's just like... Boom! 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 And I know that she's a very introverted person, that, that's very... Speaking like that is hard, right? Public speaking is very difficult. Will she be able to master it, though? Yeah, less stutters. It's scary when it's a bunch of people that's gonna think that they're judging you. I think that the voice actor is doing a godlike job to like reproduce this and make it sound like believable, like authentic stuttering. Someone that has issues with speaking and public speaking is scary. Like from the beginning, I thought Komari's voice actor was always the voice best voice actor of this show. There's no way you'll be able to. That's mean, but that might be true. I don't know what this time... I mean, is he wrong, though? It's like tomorrow, isn't it? Ah, uh, but this doesn't look really good for Komari because she's trying so hard and to just like immediately say like, you can't do this. Oh, I don't know, man. Day after tomorrow. God damn. I don't think she take it this personally, bro. I'm practicing my hardest I am getting better. Why can't you tell why are you telling me I can't do it? This is oh, my angel. Komari no. This is getting heated, man. It was given to her. Damn, I thought that like... Last episode just like sealed the deal with like Komari's closure with the senpais leaving and she's now ready to be the big girl to lead the lit club, but... Nah, man. She, like, nothing makes sense to her anymore because Bucho left and she used to call, you know, Bucho Bucho like, oh no. <laughs> I'll be Bucho. <laughs> oh, Nuku, bro. Yeah. Is she gonna give one churros to us or is she gonna eat both right now sitting down beside us? Well, we didn't see her give one away, so I'm gonna assume she ate both of them. <laughs> she sits in front of us, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, that's Anna, the glutton. Is she? Through Korai.
Really? Is Anna also that impacted? Or are we getting baited right now to believe that because Komari, Nuku, and Anna are connected that Anna also feels bad? I don't know. Might be just a coincidence. Oh, oh, oh. Two kilos, about five pounds. Okay, I don't want to like take away her efforts if she actually lost five pounds, but this is water we were talking about. People consume a lot of salty food, sodium, and they drink a lot of water. You retain that water, and you can literally lose five pounds. You can fluctuate like that in water weight. You straight up can. I doubt she lost two, pa two pounds of fucking fat, dude. Ain't no way. It's just water weight. Or she took a fat shit. Cap. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Two to three. <laughs> She's still behind. Two out of three. You're still minus one. So you're plus one, I guess. Are you counting your macros, though? Are you counting calories? Are you counting calories? Oh my god, that egg animation is crazy. You guys should be spamming wood in the chat right now after looking at the middle yoke like that. Yeah. Are we looking for atonement? Do we want punishment? Yo. She's a saint right now. She's literally giving us sage advice. She's absolutely correct. And that's the thing about Anna. She's sometimes just like a fucking demon. And sometimes she's just so profound and enlightened out of nowhere. You seen this? Are you seeing this move? No, I know it's the same fucking like two seconds repeated. But like the moving fucking flakes on top is crazy. It's rare that you're helpful and, like, I don't know, genuinely trying to help us. Sister. Yeah, I'm looking after Komari instead of you. Yeah? That might be because he has no friends though. Yeah, he spent a lot of time with you, but that might be because again, it's just no friend having ass. お心配して時には叱ってくれましたけど決して自分の彼女には心配してfor example, three zero, Amelia after the kiss, fucking doing the pose, everything. Subaru has influenced, you know, Amelia to. She's it's in a positive way, unless that's all part of the grooming. I'm not really sure, but in this scenario, I feel like we should do the same thing with Kaju, right? For Komari, just let Komari do her thing. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's great that she didn't think that Nuku was gay. <laughs> I guess she intuitively thought it was Komari that it was a girl that, you know, Nuku had a problem with. で、まだ困り。誰だろう。ラノベ買っても、あえてしばらく積んどいたり。読まない本を何でかさ。一応腰折りも持ってきます。あ、落ち着きなし。<laughs> Don't you dare eat this soul before Komari gets some. No! Oh! Zombie girl! Stop eating it! That's for Komari! 
あるないです That zombie girl is so just random, bro. She just shows up out of fucking nowhere. And anytime she does show up, though, the scene is very, like, intense. She just. Are they gonna do something with her? Or is she just gonna randomly show up and have these moments and nothing matters? Okay. God, are you ready for this? <laughs> you wrote it down on your palm. But isn't like a cliche thing when you write it in your palm that you get nervous and you start sweating and then suddenly it gets smudged and you don't know what it is anymore and then you start panicking? Like that's happened a lot in these public speaking situations in anime or media. Don't smudge it! <laughs> Deep breath. <coughs> okay. Lisa, she went for the water and she can't even. Oh, shit! If I'm in this room right now and I saw her do this, I would be like. Ah! <laughs> I'm cringing for her. I, it's like, I know she's cringing, but the secondhand cringe for me, it's just like, I'm feeling it for her. I'm like, oh no, 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 I'm leaving the room, bro. I can't. That, that, that bottle cap though, that bottle cap animation is fucking crazy, dude. Look at this again. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Thank you? She bailed us out. She, yeah, she, she, she bailed us out. And, and <laughs> this has more movement than Tower of God. <laughs> this bottle cap, this bottle cap scene does have more frames. This bottle cap scene does have more frames than fucking Tower of God season two fight scenes, bro. Look at this. That is undeniable. Oh my god, what would win, bro? A1 Pictures bottle cast scene or fucking Tower God season 2. Oh my god, it's so sad but funny. She is not good. No. <laughs> What, 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 so, so, so then what? Does Nuku have to step in and save her? But if we save her, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of Komari wanting to do it for herself. I don't know what to do. Would we just watch her just get, just, just suffer? Or do we step in and make her feel less of herself? That, cause she got bailed out? I, I, this is a difficult situation. Uh, <laughs> Nuku's feeling it, man. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's gonna forget it by like next day or so. But for Komori, this is a core memory that's gonna haunt her for the rest of her life. In 10 years, one night, she'll be just be chilling and think about this moment and just start cringing. Like, there's the embarrassing moments that everyone else forgets about. But if it's you that was involved in it, like, it kind of like, <laughs> it's there, man. Still for me too, I think about some dumb shit I did in high school. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> だけど、コマリにとってはそうじゃない。うーん。口として残り続ける。So so maybe this is the right answer? I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh my god. She knows immediately what's happening and she's like, oh, we want to get some fucking content. <laughs> no, 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 I wanna see this. Come on, let's go. Alright. Save your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> it's getting nuclear drama in front of everyone. Like this. Oh, like, dude, if this is happening just between us in private, not as bad. Entire, entire student council. Entire student council. Nuku. <laughs> Komari. So what? Doesn't this kind of make Komari look bad? Like, are we trying to make, like, are we trying to do an AOE taunt provoke to make us look bad? So Komari, you know, gets lifted up. I, 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 this looks kind of bad for Komari right now. What's <laughs> 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 You drink, drink out of the water bottle. <laughs> I love how dramatic this is. The holy shit, like it's it's is high school this fucking <laughs> is is high school this serious? <laughs> is student council meetings this fucking serious, bro? In in Japan, in anime, absolutely. This is life or death situation, man. There's a lot of things in the fucking line right now, and holy shit. Man, that was fucking heated, but now what? Don't, don't, didn't we just fuck ourselves over? And Komari's even more mad? Maybe the point is for Komari to not suffer by herself through the traumatic cringe memory, but us being involved with it. Does that make sense? I don't think Komari, uh, unless this was to, cause like I feel like Komari throwing a water bottle and throwing a fucking tantrum in front of the entire crew student council doesn't look good on herself too. But is Nuku trying to make sure that she's not alone even in her her cringe despair? やろうとしたことはわかるけどさ、Komari <laughs> Today's episode, the amount of like Anna W's is unreal. And I think this has happened too before when Nuku was also being an idiot by thinking that her, like him interacting with Anna was somehow making her look bad. So he wanted to push her away. That episode too, Anna was very enlightened and like knew all the right things to say. So it seems like there's a pattern of behavior of like when Nuku's in the fucking the gutter and he's fucking suffering. Anna just comes out of nowhere from her. You know, she's usually just a gluttonous gremlin just fucking shit up, but there's times when she just saves him like that. Where's Komari? Go to a bridge! Rooftop! Jesus. Rooftop, right? Stairways. I don't know, I felt bad. I want to just join in. No, you... Yeah. But you didn't. You said you could, but you couldn't. I'd say that you already fucked up by the time Nuku showed up. You already had your chance to prove it, and clearly you did not have the skill set ready for this position. And then Nuku came out after to maybe play the villain role. Hmm? I was the only first year when she joined the club. It's fun now, but I used to be scared every day thinking about how I'd be alone once my senpais graduate. Aww. Yeah, she's better at communicating with writing than, you know. So that's all we have to do. That's it. Can she? Can we be her spokesperson? I don't know. Right now, her com conversing with us, obviously, she, she's much better at just like writing things down and you know sending messages that way. But can, can we not be a spokesperson for us? Yeah. Don't make fun of her fucking living circumstances. By myself. I'll be your friend then. Komari just needs to realize there's people willing to help her out. Feeling that she needs to do everything by herself. Pretending, bro. We're not pretending to be nice. We want to be nice. But it's like senpais are leaving, right? And I thought I had a place and now they're gone and now I feel alone. 
She has abandonment issues. I mean, even the independent shit comes from her trying to like raise her siblings by herself. I don't know what her parents are, but there's a lot, you know, the siblings are always like with Komari too. So she just needs to figure out that, hey, like I'm with you. We're with you. We're not going to leave. We're going to fucking graduate together. So let us help you during this time. <laughs> It's like this feeling. Stop. I, I think deep inside. She doesn't believe this. But like she wants confirmation. You know, like she actually doesn't believe that Nuku is pretending like everyone else is pretending to be nice because it's easier to delude yourself and act this way so that when they do leave, you're not hurt. You know what I mean? So it, because everything is temporary, she doesn't want things to end. It's better if she wants to push away, cut it out and say, no, you're all just pretending I need to protect myself. That's what's happening here. Komari is a lot of burden she's carrying, man. But she's also afraid of being abandoned. That's why she pushes people away. What's the answer then? Oh. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, never mind, never mind. I was like, wait, is, is the answer to literally be her boyfriend? I, 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 like you're writing? Hmm. Oh, dramatic wind! Oh, look at that! Look at that dramatic wind! <laughs> Can't spell this bitch's name without L. I feel like such an important scene was about to happen there, bro. Like, ugh. what was Komari about to say? What was Komari about to fuck? Ugh, just. Ah! Ah, Levin! Killing me, Lemon! Wait, that's. <laughs> Maybe it's better that way. It feels embarrassing that we were using the group chat as a private place to talk. But now they know. Now they know how she's really feeling. So it's embarrassing, cringe. But, you know, I think the thought has been conveyed to them too. But that is so embarrassing. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, see? Now they know, you know? It was cringe, but they know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I can't take this away from her. Listen, I'm the biggest Ana hater here. Listen, if anyone watching this show, there's no one that hates this blue demon more than me. However, even I know to give credit where it's due. Sometimes she says she did consultant shit. I feel like she just got carried by the fucking team. But in today's episode, yeah, I think that Anna was fantastic. Everyone's happy! Oh, what the? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is. Why? Why? We, we... You were like, yeah, everyone is happy, our friend group, and then Karen. And then just random scene of Karen and her boyfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Oh, fuck these. Oh, there's one more dude. I haven't seen this guy in the student council, but, you know, Prez, we had, you know, the... Uh, Prez's fucking dog and got the zombie girl. Everyone's happy! Hmm, that's a very profound line, man. What Nuku just said here is such a key lesson in life that most people 
don't want to listen to or want to accept. We all have to keep making these temporary connections. The key word being temporary. People delude themselves into thinking everything is forever. When you're in high school, you're always just forced to be in the same room or the school with other people throughout a number of years. You think that's all your life. And then during those times, this feels forever. But eventually you graduate and people move on. And that's life, right? But it doesn't mean that you should shy away from these connections, right? And then what does he say? Grabbing and dropping them throughout our lives, right? Sometimes you meet a new friend group. Sometimes you get to meet new people, but they're not going to be there for the rest of your life. Everything is temporary, but that doesn't mean that it's fake or it's cheap. Simply understanding this concept will just make you live such fulfilling lives rather than being scared of these connections and worrying that people are just going to leave you one day. So then you hide in your shell and you say, I don't want to ever connect with people because they're going to end up leaving. Well, that's the thing. That's life, though. So if you shy away from this, right, it's kind of lonely, but that doesn't mean it has to all be said. If you just always avoid these relationships because, you know, it's temporary, then you will never experience the highs of life, right? Because you experience the sadness, you can also experience the happiness. But if you're always just too scared of these things and you decide to settle for the middle in this neutral zone where you're neither feeling happy nor sad and you're just in your own shell, don't you think that that's a coward way of living and wasting this one opportunity that you have life? You're just devoiding yourself from all these experiences that you could have, but you're too scared because, you know, this episode in Komari. She wanted to. I'll stay with you always. <laughs> I'll stay with you always. <sighs> let's see. Let's see how long always really means. Maybe? I don't know. Is this an actual ship? I don't know. Wait, is he actually? Wait, wait. So Komari has conceded the presidency title to Nuku? Our new president, I mean, she's saying it. Literally, no one writes in this club. It's just fucking Komari, Koto, and the press before. And now two of them are gone. It's just Komari, and then it's just... Nuku don't write for... Does he write? Oh, take responsibility. Oh. <laughs> That is today's episode. Let's have a talk about responsibility. Do we have a post credit scene? We don't. And I hear that this pretty much is the proper ending for season one. And I know that there's one more episode. So maybe that's like a filler. Maybe we'll go to a fucking hot spring, swimming pool, beach episode. I don't know. Do something fun. But this pretty much is it for the actual canon story of Makayan. And that's amazing, man. That's amazing, man. You don't want... Yeah, I'm, I don't give a fuck about the ending. I don't care about a little fucking visual detail. You can go watch that by yourself. That doesn't fucking add to the story to me. Today's episode. Pretty fucking good. I thought that last episode was the ending of Komari, man. Like, I thought Komari got her closure, but no, they did a little bit more. Komari herself still has to be the president, but she doesn't know how to be president. You know, she's not a good speaker, but she's an excellent writer, right? And Nuku... <laughs> Stepping in, oh my god, this is some fucking peak drama. And, you know, the rest of the student council still saw this, so this it's not like this shit's gonna get erased from their memories. Well, they'll probably forget it in about two to three days, but oh my god, this was so spicy. At the end of the day, the lesson of this episode was... Don't be alone. Reach out for help. And don't shy away because things are temporary. You need to understand that things are temporary. Life is temporary. Nothing is forever. But the more you cling on to this hope of everything being forever, the more that you'll shy away from actual meaningful connections throughout your life because you're going to be too scared of losing people. But that's just part of the process. You pick stuff up, you lose them. And sometimes you'll find them again. But that's just the cycle of life, man. And the faster you can accept these things about life, the faster you can move on and actually start living your life rather than hiding in fear of, you know, people moving away from you, but that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.